Hey guys, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to check out the Noise Ash Rule Tech All Collection. So let's check them out. All right, guys, so today we're going to look at the Noise Ash Rule Tech All Collection. So that uh, includes three plugins here we have the EQ1A, um, the EQ5. M and then the Heritage Pro. So the Heritage Pro has both of those EQs and then on top it has a filter. All right, so here I have a kick and I've added the Rultech EQ1A, which is the low and high frequency EQ. So let's check it out. We have some presets here too, but I'm also just going to play with the knobs and see, um, you know, the subtle differences it makes to the sound of this kick. So this is what it sounds like with the EQ off. So I'm going to play that and then I'm just going to turn it on and we'll see uh, what everything sounds like. So now we've added a nice sub, uh, you know, more sub bass to that because right here we can select the low frequency. It's at the lowest right now. And so it's boosting those very low frequencies. And we also can go and do the same with the high frequencies and get it more crisp. So that's fairly basic use right there. Let's go with a, um, a synth here. And here I have on this synth, I have the entire Heritage Pro. So this is the, you know, the high and low EQ, the mid EQ, and then the filter on top. So this bass line, I'm just going to play with some of the things and, you know, maybe use some presets and hear the differences with that as well. When I, when I use the MIDI cue, you can really hear there are some subtle differences, but when I went to the more extremes, you can really hear how that adds a lot of thickness to that mid-range. So also as well, you can hear a lot of really nice sub-bass added there from this middle one. So I'm going to go and kind of, you know, we have some presets here, um, you know, bass drum presets, basses, acoustic guitars. There are some kind of mastering presets as well. Um, so, you know, they're, you know, vocals and everything like that. So let's check that out real quick. So that was just using a bass, which is mostly probably for an, an electric bass for rock music but you can hear how it just, you know subtly changes the sound of that synth bass what i want to do now is go on to the kick and use one of those presets um for the bass drum specifically even though this is more of an edm kick um we'll check that out i'm going to do bass drum punchy uh start with it off and then turn it on and see how it changes that kick So subtle differences, but you can hear it makes it more punchy. And then we have one here as well. Let's check that out. Adds a lot of thumpiness to that as well. So, you know, there's 
any you can do whatever you want with this it's hard to really demonstrate an eq but i guess the biggest thing is seeing the interface how easy it is to use and the nice presets we have and how it's all modeled after like you know these physical eqs these classic analog units so if you know anything about that and you want to kind of you know replicate that you know, the physical units, the rack mount stuff um, from the studios and stuff. I mean, this is great for it. So also one last thing, I'm going to put it here on our master, which is a bold thing to do, but it actually sounds really good. So I'm going to take the Realtek Heritage Pro, go in here and hit master full bright. So it actually does pretty well on that master. Um, it adds it adds warmth and it adds you know some kind of mid. It adds a lot of life to it. To be honest, um, it sounds kind of bit flat and digital uh, before we turn that on. But you know, again, it's hard to demonstrate really what an EQ can do. But the biggest thing is you know the interface. It's modeled after these classic legendary units, and it's easy to use and it sounds great and it adds a warm subtle uh saturation you know tube saturation even when the eq is set to flat so it's going to add some warmth and life to your mixes no matter what it's a really awesome uh, piece of hardware software excuse me emulated after hardware all right guys so that has been a quick look thanks so much for hanging out checking this one out with uh with me remember to like it the video uh if you guys want to support us like our videos subscribe um leave us comments everything helps us and we will be back with more. Make sure you stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.